I don't normally make videos talking about competitive Clash Royale, the esports side of the game, Clash Royale League, but this was a very, very big topic and very unfortunate situation for a player named Ta that I feel like I had to make a video speaking out against this and giving my opinion because I just feel so bad for him and I'm going to get into what happened and basically what's been going on. This happened yesterday. I'm going to translate the tweet into English because he's a Japanese player so you guys can understand what he said. He made a tweet yesterday saying, for some reason I will not be able to participate in this month's CRL. I don't know why. I apologize to everyone who supported me and I came to this conclusion after contacting the management staff. So I'll explain some of the stuff here. The management staff he's referring to are the admins in the CRL Discord. They're different than the devs or the community managers. They hire, you know, different people to help out with that kind of stuff. And they basically informed him that he wasn't allowed to play. But the crazy part is he didn't find out the reason for why he wasn't allowed to play. He said there was no reason given. And that's the most frustrating part. His coach also confirmed that. I'm going to get into more about that, but I also want to get into some background of why this is so significant and so unfortunate for him because he was basically robbed $20,000. So the first background information I want to give you guys, you first might be asking, well, where did I get $20,000 from? So the prize pool for the 2023 Clash Royale World Finals, first place gets $250,000, second gets $125,000, third gets $80,000, fourth $65,000, fifth to $650,000, seventh to eighth $40,000, ninth to $12,000, and thirteenth to sixteenth $20,000. So just for qualifying to the World Finals, you are guaranteed $20,000. Now you might be asking, okay, well, why was Ta guaranteed to qualify assuming this didn't happen? And let me show you guys that right now. All right, guys, I'll quickly talk about why he would have been basically guaranteed to make world finals if he didn't get screwed over. So the way worlds works this year in order to qualify for it, 16 people do, seven people get in from a golden ticket. The seventh one will be decided at the end of this month. And then there's seven people that get in through points. And then there's two Chinese players that qualify. Well, if we scroll down here and we see who's right outside of the top seven in points, it's Ta. And the only reason why is because he wasn't able to play this month accumulating points. The way it works is if you get eight wins, you get top 32, which then allows you to compete in the top eight and get a lot of points. But here's the thing, guys. He didn't even need to get top 32 this month to be able to have enough points and seal and basically confirm his world's position. Right now, if he had 30 more points, he would be guaranteed worlds because he would be in 12th place in front of Air Surfer and he wouldn't be able to be passed. And he would only need six wins to get those 30 points, which if you're a good player, you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least six wins inside of the Swiss brackets. Even getting seven is fairly easy because eight gets you to the top 32, but six wins is like the bare minimum. So if he was eligible to play, he 100% would have gotten that, which means he being ineligible to play 100% prevented him from making it to world finals. But yeah, guys, the worst part about all of this is they did not yet give a definite reason as to why he was not able to participate in this month's CRL. He uploaded a YouTube video talking about potential reasons on his YouTube channel. Obviously, you guys and I don't speak Japanese, but luckily someone was able to translate for us some of the stuff he said. So Ta's coach was able to help us translate the video saying Ta's video listed three possibilities. When we asked what are they if you don't mind sharing tight. Sharing of accounts almost unlikely since I haven't done it since I was banned once three years ago. And this is most likely definitely not the reason because Ta's account... His actual Clash Royale account was not banned. He's still able to access the game in game. He was just not allowed to play CRL, which makes it very unlikely it's account sharing because he would have been banned in game. He was saying maybe it's because of tying on ladder with players I know. I doubt it's that because they do not ban you for that. So many top ladder players do that. And then using his parents' credit card to buy the pass. Again, that seems unlikely too. Tight is saying none of this is certain, it's just what Ta believes are some possibilities. Is his account banned? And he's confirmed saying no, only CRL he's not a plan, so not allowed to play. So this is what I was saying, his account isn't even banned, which is the strangest part of this whole thing. 
But guys, this is the worst part of all of this, the lack of communication. I'm just pulling up this here to show you an example of what happens when someone gets banned, and usually there's a response from someone. In this case, it's even one of the community managers. So I'll just read this quickly. This is the end. They couldn't give me a concrete answer, and I still don't understand why. Why he was banned is what he was saying. I want to say goodbye with one last Clash Royale League, and this happened thanks to everyone who supported me. So basically, he got banned permanently. He wasn't sure why. And Max who is one of the community managers reply to him saying, hey, you've been found pushing multiple accounts that weren't yours, ban is valid. So they communicate this stuff publicly. They say all these reasons of why bans happen when players make tweets and ask about it, especially if they get a lot of likes. But Taz tweet got a lot of attention and yet no one has responded yet saying why he wasn't able to play CRL. You would think this is an important thing, especially because he was high up on the leaderboard, basically guaranteed worlds had it not happened. And and yet no one gave him a response like at least if he did something wrong they should say it so yeah if he did something wrong and they said that okay people would get it and yeah maybe he didn't deserve to play but that's the thing that i think is just the most unfair out of all of this he wasn't even told why and here's the other thing I remember too, guys. There was a player named Asaf. He's from Israel where a similar problem happened to him a couple months ago. Didn't you have this issue as well before where basically an admin told him he couldn't play even though his account in game wasn't banned. It was just CRL he wasn't allowed to play. He was saying, yeah, I got disqualified for absolutely no reason. When I asked for explanations, they said, we don't know. Average Clash Royale moment, yeah, nothing new. And guys, I think this is one of the biggest problems. The Clash Royale admins, I think a lot of them don't know what the heck they're doing because they're hired and they're not Clash Royale devs. They're not the community manager, so they probably are making mistakes and disqualifying people for either no reason, or if there is a reason, they're not saying what it is and communicating it, but it just doesn't make any sense how you can disqualify someone from a world final where they're guaranteed $20,000 and a flight to, you know, Finland to compete, to win more money, meet you know, new people and it's super exciting experience. You can get all of that taken away from you with zero explanation whatsoever. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyways, guys, super unfortunate what happened to Ta. Let's try to end the video on a more positive note and make some predictions for what I think is going to happen at the World Finals this year in terms of who's going to win because I am looking forward to watching it in person. I was invited actually to go to Helsinki to see it live, which is super exciting. So I think Molite has the highest chance of winning. Probably not a big surprise. I think there's a 50 or 60% chance he'll win. But with that being said, I don't think he's guaranteed to win because anything can happen and I don't think there's ever been someone to win a world final back to back. So I also think that Mugi and Samuel Basoto have an extremely good chance of winning as well. And Morton, I would actually say if, it, if it's not Mo who wins, I feel like Morton is the second most likely to win because he got second in the last one. And then as for everyone else, I would be shocked if anyone else won the world final. I would say anyone else probably has about a 1% chance of winning it. It would be extremely unlikely in a massive upset if someone besides those four players I mentioned win the world finals. But anyway, what do you guys think? What is your prediction?